Here, Dude Ranch DIY. We got the new truck and the Cormidi mini skid steer out here on the job. Let me show you what we got going on. So we got Chris and his truck over here with the Sure Track dump trailer. Chris, say hi. What's going on, guys? We got a bunch of saws and stuff. Today's job consists of moving some wood. So as you can see, I guess the homeowners have been doing some of their own tree work. <clears throat> Put a nice new shed in. And they took out this section of fence because I guess a couple years ago, before they bought the house, this big tulip uprooted. And it's laying here, crushed the fence. And they've been doing some weed killer and stuff back here, as you can see. I think their goal is to take down the fence they put up this nice new one but we have to get basically this big section of tulip and a couple of these smaller logs if they'll fit into the back of the sure track trailer um it's a little steep here not nothing crazy but there is a grade um and this is pretty big wood as you can see so it'll be a good test for the uh, erskine industrial grapple <clears throat> now tulip luckily is pretty light as far as hardwoods go and it's been laying down here for a couple of years. So it's probably dried out a bit, but we'll see if the grapple can, you know, handle pieces that big in diameter. We're obviously gonna cut them pretty small, probably like about three footers, but I don't know if it'll be able to get a grab on logs that diameter. Um, so that's the job. Any and all new subscribers, thanks for subscribing and watching. Um, we do tree work and stuff kind of on the side. Chris and I both work for a town municipality where we do tree work full time. But um, we do these side jobs. Normally it's some climbing and dropping trees, bucket work, stuff like that. A lot of firewood. So to any new subscribers, welcome. Thanks for checking out the channel and uh, hope you guys enjoy. log tongs over here which might be the best uh, course of action to pull the piece out because there is so much pressure it's hard for the grapple to kind of get a good grab on it because it the barks falling off it's real slippery and kind of rotten under there so we're gonna give the log tongs a try now that he's finished cutting see how it goes <laughs>
foot's just too heavy for the slope and the slippery conditions. We're gonna try and cut it in half, then it should be a lot easier. up to that big crotch that's right by Chris's head. I just did a little dirt work here trying to level out this area a bit. Um, that way I have a uh, you know easier approach to the piece but all in all the job's going pretty well and we're almost done. Well guys that's a wrap. Cormitty with the Erskine grapple did a fantastic job I'd say. What do you think Chris? Oh it blew me away. I don't think we could have done that with the tractor. It's too steep. No, yeah, definitely. And the wood too was too steep. heavy. Very heavy. Yeah. Especially that last crotchy piece. I don't know if you got any of that on video, but it was a one trunk that turned into three stems that were all about 20 inch in diameter. That, that was a big crotch. That yeah, was that was heavy. A, yeah, it's not that the tractor couldn't pick it up because the tractor does pick up more than the Cormitty. It's just this, you know, the steepness of where we are and the, you know, maneuverability of the tractor with this fence and stuff back here. No way we would have been able to do it without this machine. So hats off to Cormitty. 
Scratch is also a little more top heavy than this. Right, it's a little bit more tippy. Yeah. I mean, in this thing, I had, you know, the back of the tracks off the ground a lot, picking up some of these big pieces down here. But essentially, I guess they want to put up this fence again and extend their little backyard thing. They got a pool on the other side of this white fence. I'm going to take this down, clean up this little area, um, and put the fence back up. I don't know what their plan is with that stump, but not my problem. Um, so yeah, all in all, it was good. We got the trailer loaded up and uh, we're gonna load up and get out of here. Trailer is full, guys. We got a full load here. And that was the purpose of today. So it's good. Got a lot of big wood out. Hopefully uh, people are able to extend their fence, do what they wanna do with their pool area. Well, all right guys, that's it. You saw the whole job, you know what we did. It was uh, pretty cool using the Cormiti just to move wood like that. It's a it's pretty capable machine. I mean, given the, given the conditions, you know? Yeah. Pretty muddy, pretty steep, pretty big wood. The Erskine Grapple did great. At first we were a little nervous that it might not open up as much as the Wicked Grapple on the tractor, but it seemed to do a good job. Yeah. You know, once you're able to get a good hold on it. Um, the thing that we noticed too and we're worried about with the, this grapple is it, it's a little bit more flat face instead of curved like the, the Wicked Grapple. So we, we didn't think it would have as much of a, a grip around the trunk as yeah. it was just on two points of the trunk. Especially on that top lid. The top lid of the Wicked Grapple is really curved so you can kind of like get up and over pieces and curl them out. Um, but even with the bark, you know, coming off and them being slippery pieces. Once you got just one tooth in, because it's soft tulip, it just seemed to grab it, you know, and be able to get it out. So hopefully they're happy. Um, the Cormiti C1500 mini skid loader, awesome machine. Check out some of my other videos if you want to see more in-depth, in uh, like overview of it. The new hook lift truck, first time out on the job today, besides uh, picking up the log splitter a couple videos back. Did a great job, served its purpose. We don't have to come back for the machine. Wood in the trailer, machine on the truck. We're out of here. We got, uh, what, a one-year-old's birthday party to go tear up. We're just gonna get, have so much fun. Um, <laughs> There's a big bounce house. Yeah. There's gonna be a ton of food bounce and house, a ton of beer. Full pig, pork roast. Um, it's actually Joe, our foreman, who's in some of the videos. It's his son's first birthday. So happy birthday, little Joey. That's it. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. If you didn't, don't hit the thumbs down button. That would just be rude. Um, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to get notifications when we post videos. Any comments, questions, feedback, put it in the comments section below. I'm Jake. I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.